Yes. Open our eyes, O oh Lord, that we may behold the wondrous things out of the world, and give us your spirit to do them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 But before I move on this morning, there is one particular news. It's not part of my um, sermon today, though I have a few minutes. I'm not a fan of um, Ellen White. I'm a fan of the Bible, but Ellen White is a prophet. My wife showed me... Um, um, the news that she said Ellen White said. And when I read the news, it says the queen has 18 months to sit on her throne. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what happens after that. So if you guys know, you can continue from there. They said when the queen leaves the throne, something will happen. I don't know. But just to let you guys know, maybe the end time is coming. Now, let me come back to what I'm saying. We call God different names. God has different titles. Some people call him Elohim. Some people call him Adonai. Some people call him Ebenezer. Some people call him whatever. But there is a particular name God told Moses to call him. And what is the name? I am what I am. <laughs> okay, fine. Then who knows the meaning of I am that I am? Who knows the meaning of I am that I am? You just call the name, but who knows the meaning? God. Yeah, God title or God name is I am that I am. But what is the meaning? Like Ebenezer, for example, Ebenezer means God the provider. But I am that I am, which is God's name. What is the meaning? It means nothing. <laughs> no, just. Like, it is in reference that he, he, he was, even at the beginning of time, he was, I am. Yes. The Sabbath. Sabbath. Yes. The beginning and the end. Yes. I think um, I am who I am. It's like I am God. I am me. I nothing stop him. There is no control of him. He is. He do as he wishes. He do as he is pleased because he is control of everything. He is who he is. He is an existing God. Amen. Now. My topic today is God lives in us. God lives in us. Now I will start with the meaning of I am, I am. You guys said everything almost close. Yours is almost close, from my I am that I am means I will be or become whatever I want to be or become. <coughs> At any time in this world, I will be or become whatever I want to be or become. Now, let's start with our um, quote today, which is Isaiah 40, verse 28. Can someone read the place? I need some reading from the place. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. Neither faith nor is when this understanding is unsearchable. Amen. 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 His understanding is unsearchable. That is, uh, that is God. Because you can't imagine God. God lives somewhere before he made heaven and the earth. 
in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, it says, In the beginning, God made the heaven and the earth. Where was God then? Where, no, no. <laughs> yeah, where was God then? In the beginning, God made the heaven and the earth, which we see. But where was God before he made, because the heaven and the earth has a beginning? Where was God? We found out the heaven because um, if we look at it, you have heavens of heaven. So where, this, where the sun and the moons are, that is heaven as well. But beyond that, there's also heaven. But, you know, I believe God was living beyond this heaven before. Yes, yes. <laughs> God lives in heaven, but he knows the heaven he lives. Because the heaven, the Bible made us to know, God made them. And it has a beginning. And we don't know about whether it has an end or not. Now, a careful and serious study says that God created a man. God came as a flame. God came as a pillar of cloud. God came as a rock. God came as all these things. God can decide on what he wants, how he wants, and when he wants. I asked from the beginning, what is the name, what is the meaning of I am that I am? And we said, he can become whatever he wants to become at any point in time. Psalm 18, verse 25. Can someone read that one, please? And take it slow. Eighteen, verse twenty-five. Psalm eighteen, verse twenty-five. With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. Merciful, yeah. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. Upright. Verse twenty-six. Yes. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the fraud, thou wilt show thyself fraud. Okay, you can stop now. Thanks. This is what God can be or become to anybody. What it can be or become to you, it's what it can be and become to somebody else. What it can be and become to my friend is different from me. To the forward, he becomes forward. To the pure in heart, he becomes pure in heart. He can be a rock. He can be a pillar of clouds. He can be a wind. God is God. Now, God, when heaven wasn't made, God was here. The Bible said in the book of Psalms, and the Lord spoke to my Lord. The Lord spoke to my Lord. God speaking to another God. Who was that? God made himself to become Christ. <coughs> the same God. He was here and he entered here and he became Christ. He can enter <coughs> into somebody else and become that person because he is God. He can do whatever he wants. God can be can enter into what he has created and become that thing. God can become an angel which he made for himself. <laughs> now, God chose to enter Christ and he became Christ, which we can see. He <laughs> came to the world and we saw. <laughs> now, God wants to decide to enter you and me. I was talking on, on Facebook 
with my Jewish friends, and they all finished me. They said, Christ live in a, a, a tabernacle, not a man. How can, it, how can a big God live in man? But the word I am, that I am, is not sounding in their ear. <laughs> God only lives in a tabernacle. He can't live in, the, in a man. Now, three men in the book of Genesis chapter 18, three men came to Abraham. And we all know what one of the three men, who they are. Three men came to Abraham. Three men came to Abraham, yes. And we all know what one of the person is. Yes. Now, he came to as a man, and Abraham saw him. He came as a Mekisedek, and Abraham saw him face to face. He is the same God. Now, the same God entered into a man, which he chose. And in the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 19, can someone read that one? Genesis 2, verse 19. Genesis 2, verse 19. Yeah. Genesis 2, verse 19. Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. And whatever Abraham, whatever Adam called the animal, that was the name. The Bible didn't say that is the name. He said that <coughs> was the name. That was the name God gave the animal from the beginning. So that means it's not Adam that named the animal. It was God that named the animal from the beginning. Then when he <coughs> entered into Adam, the Bible said that was the name already. God didn't whisper the name to Abraham to Adam. He said that was the name. Any Bible you read, it will say that was the name. Was means past tense, not is. So you keep on wondering how come the Bible said that was, that was, that was. Then let's go to the book of um, Psalm 82, verse 6 and 7. Psalm 82, verse 6. Psalm 82, verse 6. Yes. Can you say it loud? I said, You are God, and all of, your, all of all of your works are children of the new son. And continue. But you shall die like men and fall like princes. I say that you are God. But most times, people don't believe that they are God. Most times, people don't believe that they are God. When the Bible says, speak to the mountain, and the mountain will obey you. God told Adam that fill the earth, take dominion over all the animals over all my creation on earth. He made him God. Even in Revelation, crown was given to everyone as a king and as gods. We are gods, even though they put the gods as small gods. But most people don't know the amount of power they have on this earth that you can speak you can command the mountain. You can command um, a way to appear in the sea. Most people don't know. And since you don't know, the Bible says, and you shall die like 
one of those. Has I, uh, as I have four said, my people die out of knowledge. Out of knowledge. We don't know. It's not people die because of sickness, witchcraft, herbalist, this, that. It's a lack of knowledge. And the Bible made us to know that the knowledge is about the knowledge of God. If you know you are a God, you can command, like Brother Michael said, we pray. When you pray, people get healed. Because there is power in the tongue. There is power in the tongue when you pray. Because now God has left his throne and chose to live in you. Somebody says, who is Michael in the Bible? Some church will argue that Michael is Christ. Some church will say, Michael is an archangel. Suppose I say, Michael is God. God chose to be in an angel. People will say, prove it. But the, the proofs is everywhere. He chose to be into one of his creation. He chose to be in them. Just the way he chose to live in you. That was why I had to start from the word. I am that I am. He can become whatever he wants to become to you. God can become a beggar on the streets, begging. God can become a rich man that is somewhere there to help you when you are down. When you pray to God, say, God, I need this, I need that. God will send a rich man walking on your way before you. And before you know it, the spirit will leave. And the guy will help you. You say, God, thank you. There is a book I read. Um, it's a good news Bible. We don't read it. But it's a Bible where you have this uh, Tobias and Tobit. I don't know if anybody has read it. Good news Bible. Yeah. The good news. Tobit and Tobias is a, is a story about um, a man and his son and a lady. The lady has demon. Each time the, the lady gets married, the husband dies on that day, on the wedding day. The husband dies. Now, the man on the other side, the dad was relaxing on the chair and looking up the sky. And a bird pulled on his, on his eyes. And ever since then, he was blind. <coughs> and God sent an angel. He called the angel Raphael. Raphael came for one purpose. To answer the prayer of Tobit and to answer the prayer of that lady. And brought them all together. And on that day, this man eyes, the scale or whatever was uh, pulled up from his eyes and he could see. Now, Tobit and that lady came together and became friends and they chose to marry. On that wedding day, the, the Bible said, the Bible I read said, this demon came again as usual because the, the lady had gotten married seven times. The demon came that day, but unfortunately, he saw or she saw, I don't know whether the demons are he or she. He saw that something powerful and greater is there, and he ran away. And ever since then, they lived happily ever after. God chose to come in that form and in that manner. Now, because I have less time, John 14, verse 1, just 1 and 2. 
John 14, 1 and 2 says, yes. John 14, 1 and 2. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. If you believe in God, believe in me also. Christ was a man on earth with flesh. And he was telling them, if you believe in God, believe in me also. I know the Jews would have killed him or strangled him for saying such things. But who was speaking in him? The same way we could be proud and say, if you believe in God, believe in me also. But because we are ignorant, we don't have the power to do it. Because the all power has been given unto Christ. And he took the power, all power, and gave to us. But we don't know the value of the power we have. We don't know. And that is why we die like fools. All power has been given to him. If you believe in God, believe also in me. And I can probably say, if you believe in God, believe also in me. Because Christ gave us the power also, which makes us equal with Christ. We are, he is the head, and we are joint heads. So what he says, we could probably say, that if you believe in God, believe also in me. What God gave him, he gives us. But yet, we don't know the value of the power we have. Um, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 6 says, And what agreement had the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. God chose to dwell in you. My problem is not God dwelling in you. My problem is we don't even know that God lives in us. Baby, baby, mama, baby. First Corinthians six eighteen says, "Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committed committed fornication." Sin it against his body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are is not yours. 